Hi everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss about the programmable interrupt controller IC that is A259 IC in this video. This particular A259 acts as an intermediate between the 8086 and various interrupt requests generated by various peripheral devices. Okay, so this IC is actually used for handling various interrupt requests more effectively. Okay, so this is the architecture diagram of A259. This particular unit actually used by used for handling the interrupt request more effectively by the processor and is used for generating the interrupt type information as well as for finding the vector address or the starting address of the interrupt surface routine from the interrupt vector table. So more effective uh, handling of interrupt request this A259 unit is working along with the processor okay so this is the architecture diagram this particular data bus buffer unit is actually indicating the data transfer between the processor with this A259 so this unit support transferring data byte by byte between processor with this A259 unit and here we have the read or write logic actually indicate the direction of data transfer that indicate the direction from or to to the processor with this A259. Okay, so this one indicate the direction of data transfer as well as command information and the CSR pin actually indicate the chip selection. So this is an active low signal whenever its value become low this rewrite logic get selected. Okay next is uh, sorry next is the other part of this 8259 here we have eight different input lines for uh, providing various interrupt request so a single 8259 chip can uh, access maximum of eight different interrupt requests at a time so more if uh, different interrupt requests are arise through this interrupt lines all its informations are loaded into interrupt request register first so here we have a different pin having different priority values i0 with higher priority ir1 with somewhat lesser priority and so on so various in, uh, interrupt request coming through this chip a259 chip through these interrupt lines so all the interrupt in uh, requesting interrupt informations are loaded first into this interrupt request register okay then this priority resolver come into action it works on the stored interrupt request and generate or extract the higher priority interrupting interrupt request okay so extract one among this various interrupt request with higher priority and its information is loaded into in surface register okay so this priority resolver resolve the priority of various incoming interrupt request and extract one having a higher priority and its information is passed to interrupt service interrupt service register at the same time this control logic generate an interrupt request to the processor okay so here we have an interrupt mask register imr so while extracting the interrupt request with maximum priority the information is loaded into interrupt service register and the remaining interrupt request the incoming remaining interrupt request with lesser priority uh, are masked now so its information the masked interrupt request information are stored here in interrupt mask register okay so this control logic whenever a higher priority interrupt request arise here in a259 ic the control logic generate an interrupt request to the processor and the processor generate an acknowledgement back whenever it ready to accept the request okay so whenever it re ready to accept all other data transfer takes place between the processor with a259 all other interrupt handling cycle steps takes place with the a259 with the processor okay here we have one more unit that is the cascade buffer comparator this one uh, actually come into action only when this a259 units worked as an integrated unit 
that means if mod 8259 units are interconnected and to form single unit for accepting more number of interrupt request then only this cascade buffer comparator come into action okay here actually using 18259 chip we can consider a different request using a single 8259 ic if we want to extend this limit or if we want to consider more number of interrupt requests we can integrate more a to 59 ic's so a maximum of 8 a to 59 ic's we can integrate and uh, support for uh, representing or we can address then 64 different interrupt requests why because a single a to 59 can address a different interrupt request so using such eight different a to 59 uh, ic's together we can address eight into eight total 64 different types of interrupt request so in such case of integration this cascade buffer comparator come into action and this particular pin is used sp bar or en bar pin is actually used for enabling this cascade buffer comparator right and in master mode of a259 and in integrated mode of operation this cas0 to cas pin actually used an output line for transferring the id of the device which generate the interrupt request okay so in master mode of a259 this uh, the situation of integrated a259 this CAS0 to CAS2, these three pins are actually used as an output lines for representing the ID of the device which requesting the interrupt. Okay, and then later in slave mode, the same lines are used as input line in which it accept the starting address of the interrupt service routine from the interrupt vector table and is generated using these lines okay so the cas0 to cas2 lines three lines are used as both input and output line in output case it is used for generating or passing the device id to the processor and in input case in slave mode these lines are used as input lines and is used for passing the starting address of interrupt service routine okay so all these are about the architecture of 8259 interrupt controller okay thank you